you may have already done some problems where you had to apply some algebraic rules. In these problems, they're more real-world situations in which we could write the equation that would help us to solve them using a variable. In chemistry, we often use variables to solve problems. So understanding not only how to manipulate algebraic equations, but how to generate them can be very helpful. Although these aren't chemistry problems, they do give us a little bit of a feel for how to write algebraic expressions. So let's look at the two examples. The first one says, last week, LaShonda drove 283 miles. This week, she drove B miles. Using B, write an expression for the total number of miles she drove in the two weeks. There are essentially two ways you can do this, and they're both the same. We know that the first week, she drove 283 miles miles. In the second week, she drove B miles. We need to add those up. So we could write 283 miles plus B miles. Because Alex isn't looking for units, in this case both miles, this should probably be entered as simply 283 plus B. You could also write B plus 283. Both would be correct. In this case, it says, yesterday Scott had B baseball cards. Today, he gave seven away. Using B, write an expression for the number of cards Scott has left. To do this, we want to take the original B baseball cards, I'll skip the unit, minus seven. Note that in this case, it would be incorrect to write seven minus B because he didn't start with seven baseball cards and give B away. He started with B and gave away 7.